Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to this video. This video is all about this thing right here, the Corsair Void RGB gaming headset. Now, gaming headsets are a bit of a tricky one because they've got a sort of appeal to gamers at a price that is pretty reasonable and pretty affordable. Now, if we look at the headphone market, we'll see that your good quality sort of headphones maybe start at around about 70 pounds. If you're looking at earphones, granted, maybe 30 pounds and up. And so if you're trying to get a good quality pair of headphones whilst having a good quality microphone in an all-in-one headset, at maybe about the 70 pound mark, it starts to look a little bit more tricky. And a lot of people will say, forget all of that, go with a dedicated microphone and a dedicated pair of headphones. Problem with that is you're looking at double the price. And that isn't really going to suit most gamers that maybe just could use a pair of speakers or something like that. And thus we have the market that we do today. Now, this is part of Corsair's RGB series. So it's all about having that nice, completely customizable lighting experience. And while I talk about the lighting properly in a moment, what we have here is a headset that I have to admit I've been pleasantly surprised with. But does that mean it's a headset worth buying? Now, before we actually take a look at the overall design, probably should mention that there are three versions of this headset. I've got the USB version here, with the USB cable connector, which in all honesty is probably the version most people will want to go for. But if you've got your own dedicated sound card, or if you want it to be compatible with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I'm not sure if the USB version is compatible, but it says that the stereo version is the one to go for. So this is with the two 3.5 millimeter jacks. Or if you don't want a load of cables trailing around your feet and getting caught up in your chair or in your cat and whatever else you may have around your computer, uh, then you can go with a wireless option as well. But granted, this is quite a bit more expensive. But if you want a wireless headset, that's probably the one to go for because it's the only one you have in the range. But looking at the whole design aspect, yeah, I have to say it does look very good. Looking at the top of the headset, granted it is quite plasticky and it does make the plastic noise. The whole thing though feels so light and I'll get onto this more a bit later, but it's a very nice light feeling headset. Adjustable up the top, nothing really too exciting there. Uh, we've got, it says Corsair at the top. And then once we get down uh, to the microphone, it extends out and while it's got like a silicon flex to it, it doesn't really sort of stay. Uh, it kind of does a little bit, but it's only slightly malleable. But to be honest, this isn't really gonna bother many people. It pretty much has all the adjustment you need. Uh, the whole foam is uh, covered by cloth. So at the top and the ear cups either side are covered in a nice cloth. So while this doesn't look as nice as leather, to be honest, it means your ears are less likely to sort of overheat and the whole thing keeps it nice and light feeling and looking. Uh, it's grey on the inside, if that makes any difference to you, if you have really horrible earwax. I don't know, maybe that will collect there. Lovely thought that. Uh, but on the side we've got the Corsair logo which will illuminate, and that's on both sides. And then we've also got a mute button to mute your microphone for when you're going to sneeze, or if you want to talk bad about someone in a Skype call, I don't know. But for whatever reason, there you go. You have the whole headset design, and the whole thing is very plasticky, but very light. And to be honest, actually for a gaming headset, that's not too much of a big deal. And the main thing that I will say about this headset is it's very comfortable to use over long periods of time. And that's kind of the biggest complaint I have with headphones. I hate headphones, really, to be honest. I wear them when I need to, which is granted quite a lot, but I just don't like them. I just find having stereo speakers so much better. So this is probably one of the first headsets or sets of headphones just generally that I can actually wear for such a long time that it doesn't bother me that I've got to wear the headphones. And to be honest, that is quite high praise. Granted, it isn't necessarily a nice tight fit and it does kind of move around your head a little bit. I'll try and demonstrate without looking too silly. So if I sort of move my head, you'll see that must look ridiculous, uh, that they do sort of move on your head. But this doesn't bother me. Granted, it might bother some people and some people like quite a tight fit on their head. But for me, it hasn't actually been a problem whatsoever. In terms of audio quality though, um, the microphone quality, I will actually play a sample. So you should be hearing that now. This is a microphone audio quality test. Testing one, two, three. And as you can tell, the quality is average at best, to be perfectly honest, for 
a gaming grade headset. I mean, if you want to do recordings, a headset's never going to be the best way to do it. The whole point of a microphone is so that you can talk to your teammates and they can understand you clearly. That's the main thing. And when I was having a Battlefield, Battlefield? Battlefront actually, yeah, a session with one of my friends, he was complaining that he couldn't hear me and he did say I was turned up all the way and I know that in my Skype settings I was turned up all the way as well. So it's slightly concerning that I couldn't be heard, but that was a sample size of one. And I do know that some other reviewers have sort of complained about this as well. Uh, but it's probably not going to be too much of an issue unless you are literally using this microphone every day and you really want a nice high quality microphone. Uh, but for most people, to be honest, it probably won't be too much of a big deal for you. But that is one of the three most important things about a headset. You've got microphone quality, sound quality and comfort. And I've talked about comfort, very comfortable. Talked about the microphone, it's okay. What about the big one? Audio quality. Well, if you've been following this channel, you'll know that I am someone that is quite into my sort of hi-fi stuff. And while I wouldn't really call myself an audiophile, I do own a lot of audiophile equipment and I do enjoy listening to something that sounds very good, be it a high-res recording on a good high-res setup. And I was pleasantly surprised with how good this sounded throughout both my gaming and my music needs for the two weeks that I've been testing it. Honestly, it sounds very impressive. And I really wasn't expecting this. I haven't really ever had good experiences with, with headsets. But literally, this, this does sound very good. And bearing in mind it costs about £70, I was genuinely pretty much, in all honesty, blown away with how good it sounds. It's never going to compete with something like a really good, dedicated pair of headphones that cost over £100. Forget it. You know, that would be silly. But for a gaming headset, I think, actually, this is very impressive. Mids are delivered very well, highs are never screechy, they're sort of handled very well, and bass has a nice thud to it. You know, it's not Dr. Dre beats, it's not washed out bass and nothing else, but if you are someone that is a real bass junkie, you can turn this up in the software, but as it's default setting, it's kind of, it's all sort of quite a mellow, nice, enjoyable, fun sounding headset. I'm not really, fun, I'm not really sure if that's a word you can use to describe it. But I've been impressed, and every time I've put them on, I've been impressed with how good it sounds. That is my opinion, and that's all I can say, really. So that's the big three covered, microphone, comfort, and the actual audio quality. But this is an RGB headset, which means there's a number four, lighting. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I kind of find this to be a bit of a chocolate kettle thing. Because, right, what's the big problem with having lighting on a headset here and here? You tell me, what do you think is the, the problem with having RGB lighting? Let me ask you again, what's the problem with having RGB lighting on a headset? Oh wait, I can't see it, I will never see it unless I'm not wearing the headset. Why? Why do we need RGB lighting? You might be someone that likes that, you might be someone that wants that. For me, really is, to be honest, pretty pointless. But it works, you know, no problem if I have it on a stand, so if I have it here, and then I have my whole range of peripherals, then they're nicely in sync, I can pick a colour, I can pick a pattern, and the lighting is executed very, very well, no problems. It's just completely pointless. But if you disagree with me, and you want to have something with good lighting, I guess it gets the thumbs up. It d does everything it needs to do, but... I mean, it's lighting on something you can't see, what's the point? And with that, that pretty much brings us to the conclusion of this video. What we have here is a headset that I honestly find a joy to use and despite the fact that it's not sounding as good as the Sennheiser Momentum headphones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, they are a damn sight more comfortable, which is why they now live next to the PC connected at all time, and the headphones sadly do not. Thank you so much for checking out this video, um, I hope it's been useful. If you're wondering what award this wins, it wins the Top Purchase Award, because unless you're someone that really wants a really good microphone and maybe uses a microphone all the time, then this headset ticks pretty much every other box. It sounds great, it's very comfortable, it's very light, and it's got stupid RGB lighting if you want that as well. So thank you so much for checking out this video as, as always. I really appreciate everyone uh, that obviously makes it through to the end. A uh, big thank you to Corsair for actually uh, shipping this particular headset out um, as a review sample. It, literally wouldn't have been possible uh, without this particular review sample so thank you so much uh, to those guys um, thank you as well to obviously watching this video 
and if you thought it was good then give it a like uh, if you didn't give it a dislike and if you want to see more videos like this pc centric subscribe to pc centric that's going to be your best bet and you're going to get videos like this straight to your inbox if you're interested in any of the other corsair peripherals then they are also on the channel or and or coming on the channel very soon so do check them out if you haven't already and for anything else hit me up on at pc centric I really need a drink of water. This this happens all the time now. Really, it's terrible. Really should be a bit more organised. But at PC Centric on Twitter is the place to go. And then you can ask me any questions that you may or may not have. And for anything else, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike it, and if you if you didn't. And I will see you in the next one.